So they're not in your face. Like, they're not in your face. They're not like, be born again, be saved. Yeah, they, <laughs> don't, 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 don't. But a lot of apostolically, oh, if you baptize the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you are wrong. No, you're not wrong. Just like you got some Catholic that get filled with the Holy Ghost. Seven to Black people, hello. we love our God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> what, what did Pastor say? say? I don't know. <laughs> Welcome to Chillin' with the Chaplains. It's your boy LJ with the one and only, my lovely wife, Lady Caesar. We is in the building. You know we about that vibe each and every week. You know what I'm saying, you got us, you know. So we would like to jump right in and say, welcome to Sunday Fun Day, where we all about learning, being informative, and having fun. And so this week, we're going we're gonna to do a little spin. You know, twist it a little bit, you know, with some little education and having some fun at the we same time. We always have education, yeah. always. Like Sunday fun days are, are educational. That's but, the whole point. But today's going to be a little different. We do it's it in gonna, a way that, you know, that's not boring. Yeah, it's, it's a little different today. It's a little different today than I would normal Sunday fun day. How so? We talking church. <laughs> yeah. <that's, laughs> yes. So, disclaimer. <laughs> We are not here to look down on any church or denomination. Yes. Uh, we're just here to tell all it as it is and how we see it and what we've been through. Um, and yeah, just create that awareness and tell more people more information. That's it. So we're In talking. In a way, right? <laughs> <laughs> well, if you think our stories are far and funny, well, but because we're just telling our stories, we're yes. telling our experiences, really. So yeah, here okay. we go. Remember, he's pastor, uh -huh. and that makes me first lady. So we cannot bash church. We're just speaking what we see, yes, and what we know, what we know, and how we see it. Yes, because how he sees it might not be the way I see it. So he's going to also talk about his experience in America and, of course, my experience in South Africa and how the, the churches come together, similar or different, whatever the case is. So we're going to have a few series on, on church. We want to do, of course, um, you know, we'll touch on black and white church probably today if we have time. If not, another time. We want to touch on Muslim, Buddhism, all the other religions versus Christianity, etc. Because we're here to teach each other. So that's our series that's coming up on church. church. All right. Sunday fun day. Sunday fun day. It is Sunday. So yes. let's go. Let's go. So, okay. Before we go, I want to say there's three different types of churches that we've divided mm -hmm. these churches according to. Um, of course, there's many, many, many more. But many more. we've just divided them into three categories. The first category is, of course... Yes, it's um the the the, the mainstream uh, Protestants. Mainstream Protestants. Protestants. Yes. And the second um, type would be the evangelical Protestant. Protestant, and then lastly the Catholic. And we know right now, statistic wise, the Catholic is the, is largest. the largest church in the entire world. You find it in every corner of the world. And it's currently the largest. But we are aware that the Jehovah's Witness and the Mormons are catching up, catching up catching behind up. them because they're more evangelical. They yes. go and knock on people's doors and spread the gospel and invite people to be part of the church. Now, another um, a church that's spreading, going, going fast is, of course, the evangelical Protestant church, Protestant. and we're gonna talk about that because that's like the main churches where this church is like springing everywhere. They don't mind having five people in the church, and they're like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. They don't mind having five people in the church. Like, yeah. like everybody wants to be a pastor. I'm going to be a pastor on the evangel evangelical side. <laughs> Everyone. Sorry, listen. When we laugh, it's not like you know. Just bear with us. So, by right now, we're gonna be talking about the mainstream protestant who are they what are these churches we're not going to list them all so if you live out your church don't they, what what do the uh, evangelical says charge it to our hearts and not our heads and not our heads something like that number of lines charge it to our hearts not our heads and our head okay <laughs> yes we, we in touch all right. so the mainstream protestant churches is the presbyterian 
the, Epis the Episcopal Evan Evangelican, the Lutherans, which we know Martin Luther started the Lutheran, mm -hmm. um, the Baptists, the Methodists, and the Wesleyans. Wesleyan was also West, started by Wesley. Wesley, yes, yeah. it's thought about Wesley. Now, the let, let's find out the difference in America and, 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 and South Africa. For us, those are mainstream churches where, of course, the, the, the theology here is more liberal. More liberal, you yes. Know, um, and so they're not in your face. Like, they're not in your face. They're not like, be born again, be saved. Yeah, they, they're the quiet conservative. The quiet, they could conservative. You know, they, they just... They subtle with giving the word, and they more teachers teaching. Not really. They not they, they just more. No, not really. They more religious. <laughs> they more know? religious. They okay. follow a routine. A uh, ritual. Like a ritual. Like a ritual. things have to happen. Like for example, uh, they probably follow the law to the. They team. follow the law because most of them come from the Catholic Church, and Catholic have you know they follow a certain you know procedure. Yes. You, know, you come in, you do this, you do that, so that's what they do. So in South Africa, these churches, uh, they mainly wear uniforms, yeah. right? And I'll show the, 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 the pictures in, in, in below of the types of uniforms they wear. You find the Lutheran, I believe they wear Lutheran, I think they red, uh, Methodist, uh, black and white. Uh, I mean, psh, listen, there's different uniforms for different churches. That's how you differentiate between the mainstream and the uh, evangelicals, yes. all right? Anything you want to say more about the evangelicals? No. Yeah. Do they wear uniforms in America? I'm not sure. I've never seen anybody wear a uniform in America. I don't know. I, I, I never went to I America. could be wrong, but I've never seen anybody wear a uniform in America. I think they just go to church as they are. But they, all, of course, follow, you know, um, the... the, the the procedures because mm -hmm. one church in in, in, in in South Africa that's Methodist would be kind of the same as one in America you won't you don't get lost in the church because they kind of have the same procedures and everything all right then we move on to our next category which is the excited people Preach uh, about being saved and born again, being born, born again. again. All right, and we know there's a lot of koas, which means they they spring everywhere, everywhere, every corner, every corner you'll find in they America. Really, they, one they, street, they, they, they really taking that scripture to the heart. Let go you into you. all the world, preach in, the gospel. Come on now. <laughs> Like you will find them like on a that, bad and, and the sad part, the Bible said, "Go ye in therefore." It don't mean that you had to be a pastor and to open go to up a church. And open up a church to go ye therefore. But hey, if they can do that, <laughs> let them do it. At, at the end of the day, they're spreading the good news. All yeah, right. Yeah. And these churches, we're just gonna sit on them for a little bit because okay, before we sit on them, I've been okay. Now I'll say this at the end that I've been to all three of these types of churches that we're about to cover. <laughs> but let's talk. Evangelical Protestant. Okay, so they're born again. Do I want to ask you a question? Do Mormons and Jehovah's Witness fall under this category? Uh, yes, uh, they they do, but they don't believe. Uh, they don't teach to be born again and, and, being, saved. and being saved. So, but we'll do a little bit of research yeah. on that because I'm not sure yes, as well. Not, yeah, but, but we because they evangelize a they lot. They evangelize a lot, so they could be under this category. Yeah. So, if anyone out there. Give us a knows. definite answer that knows. Yeah. yeah, please write in the chat because yeah. this is something that 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 we thought about at the end, right before uh, at we the came end. Through, yeah. We came through, so we need to do more research. Yeah, but we will do Mormons a, a, a series Witness. on Mormons versus um, Jehovah's Witnesses. Because they, they, the differences they, and the they similarities. definitely growing. They're growing. Uh, these two. These yeah. two, yeah, they're growing. And so, yeah. So we'll talk about that more in, in the next weeks to come. Uh, because it will be an interesting take to look at that. Now, going back to evangelical Protestant, yeah. we are uh, an evangelical Protestant. Yes, church, right? are, yes. But then it's also divided it's into denominations. Yeah, so we are non-racial, not what? Oh my God! Like, so well, you have people. you have non-denominations. I grew up a Pentecostal. Okay. I grew up. A what Pentecostal. does that mean, Pentecostal? 
they just like, <laughs> they, 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 they more strict to the to the letter to the T. Baptists are yeah strict too. No, nah, they oh loose. the Baptists are the most loosey ones. Oh. Baptists and Methodists. Okay. That I know of. So, but Baptists, Baptists, because Baptists are they are not evangelical. They are Protestant. Yeah, Protestant. Men yeah. Men Protestant. So so you got the you got the. So they definitely don't wear uniform because I know Baptists don't wear uniform. They don't wear uniform. But also they they are very active in the church. Like they they not quiet people. Not quiet. They, so they yes, now they're starting to be active, but oh. they were more quiet and more conservative. Yeah, oh. they traditionally they more act they more conservative and oh. more quiet. Yeah, and they didn't believe in getting receiving the Holy Ghost. Oh. Now you're seeing more and more Baptists believe and being filled. Wow, with the Holy Ghost. I'm learning a new thing. Okay, yeah. and I've always thought Baptist was like you know. Very straight. No, yeah, they're no, not. No, no, they're mm. not very straight. You can come. You, you, you come can come as you are. are. Mm. But Pentecostal is more strict. They believe in holiness. You have to wear dress, no, no, yeah. no dresses. No, no women no dresses. No, no lipstick. All that kind no, of stuff. No, uh, no pants. But no pants. that's also changed. That's also changing. I think yes. I believe it. It, it, it depends on which church what church you go to. Yeah, well. some churches are still strict. Some churches yeah. uh, loosen up a little bit. Women but, can't come to church without covering their. But heads. you have the non-denomination, non-denomination like it's come at you all. Mm. Um, then you have the Church of God in Christ. You have the. Uh, Apostolic, apostolic. Now the difference between the apostolic and the uh, Pentecostal church. Apostolic believe in baptizing in Jesus' name only. Oh. Pentecostal believe in Pentecostal non denomination Church of God in Christ believe in baptizing in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. Okay. The apostolic is the only one that believe in baptizing in Jesus. Name. Okay, I guess this is my moment to actually share that I've been also a apostolic. Apostolic. Yeah, I've, I, listen, I, I've, I've been through church. <laughs> and, and they believe, you know, it's their way. They're the only one, right? And it's not, it doesn't matter. If you baptize in Jesus' name or Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, it doesn't matter. You can baptize in either or. You're not, like, you're not wrong but if you baptize in Jesus' name and you're not wrong if you baptize in the Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. But a lot of apostolic believe, oh, if you baptize in Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost, you are wrong. No, you're not wrong. And you're not wrong for baptizing in Jesus' name only. No, you have to be baptized in all three. Yeah, but I'm saying you for can't. For a person who's been to all three, this is my belief. This okay. is my belief. I'm not forcing it on you guys, <laughs> but this is my belief. So can I share my story? Yes, go ahead. Share your soul. Story. The soul. Has been too but they come from Asta. That's why they say in Jesus' name only. Oh, okay. yeah. They say because Jesus said bat, um, Peter said baptized in Jesus' name okay. because he baptized in Jesus' name. Right. So that's why they're not wrong because Peter did baptize in Jesus' name. Right. Okay. Yeah, that's what so, they come from. I grew up in a church called Etribini. Etribini is um, what's the what's the word that you just used? Apostolic. Apostolic. I'm apostolic. They wear uniform. It's um, I remember we used to wear even as kids. We are not allowed to come in the church premises without a covering on your head. Yes, yeah, so that's we used to wear yeah, a yeah. white covering. covering. Yeah, from <laughs> child to you name it. Grown up, and then of course as, as children we didn't, didn't necessarily need to to wear uniforms, but they started you know putting it in. But then as teenagers, as you go up, then you start being initiated into the uniforms yeah uh i'm saying initiated because you go through like a ceremony where you get like yeah kogi so like you're getting dressed uh -huh. you know you're now coming into yeah and so all the people they used to wear blue and white that's the color of the church yeah. um white blue skirts white tops like jackets and we had like a blue and white um, thing this was the this the sash was considered very sacred. You don't wear it on certain occasions. You wear it because once you wear it, you're kind of wearing the, you know, the honor of God or I don't know what it meant, but it was very sacred. And our we used to respect that sash like a lot. And they used to light candles within the church, okay. and they still do. So light candles in the pulpit, in the in the, in the altar, yeah. like two candles or more. And they used to, we used to have something called laying of hands, like in Tribi, when we used to drink the, 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 the holy water that has been prayed for. So it's just regular water from the tap. Yes. They pray over it and then it becomes holy water. Okay. And then we drink that 
every service was like the Holy Communion of the church. Yes. Like, you know how Catholics do it, you don't leave church without having Holy Communion? Okay. There, you don't leave church without having Holy Water. Okay. And then you go in like, oh my God, those were the days. You're walking like lines and they're singing songs and we used to they clap the whole time whenever they sing. It's just clapping, clapping. Okay, clapping. I got the songs. And then as you come in, there's men like the the, the priests, the ministers are, 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 are on, on the sides. Now women do it too. They're on the sides, the one that have been ordained to, to bless you. Mm -hmm. So as you come in to drink the water, the holy water, they, they tap on your head like to bless you. Like, I don't know what they say, but they tap on your head to bless you and then you go. Okay. Now, I won't really go into details why I left these churches, but it was revealed unto me, I think as I was going up, okay, I guess God just wanted me to understand what goes in, into these well, churches. Well, he takes you through stages and stages. A lot of yeah. times you go through things like... But this one in particular, I did not have a choice in going. Because it's the church that I grew, I grew up, up in. Yeah. And my mom went to the church, my grandmother went to the church, and they were a really big part of the church. And although mom no longer goes because she married into a Catholic church, grand passed away, so nobody really goes to the church anymore. But it's still a very, it was a big part of my growing up. It is a, an apostolic church. Yes. And then I moved on to a Catholic, Catholic. church. Which is the third category of our churches. Catholic Church, now let's talk about a little bit about Catholic churches. Okay. They are they Christian? Yeah, they're Christian. They they call themselves, but when you ask them, are you Christian? They say no, I'm Catholic. Yeah, but Mo they, they, most they, of them never really say I'm Christian. But they believe in Catholic. The Father, Christ. the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Yeah. Right. They do believe they, do but believe they in don't the Holy believe in salvation. Some does. Depending on what Catholic church you go to. Right. Some right. Catholic churches do, and some Catholics still shred with the old way. Yeah. Right. Just like you got some Catholic that get filled with the Holy Ghost. Okay. And you got some oh, Catholic. I don't know the yeah. old Catholics that are filled. Yeah. Because you got to remember, the Holy Ghost, the, Jesus to come in anybody's life. So anybody to get in contact. But Catholics, and, one thing that I know, because when do, I was Catholic. you got to remember, they do go over the world. And so if you have an open mind, an open heart, you know, the, 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 you can receive, receive a revelation and God is just coming to your life. Like, oh. One of the reasons why I left the Catholic, because Catholic, I can say why I left, because with Catholic, I was more matured, I was grown up, was that one, they don't carry the actual Bible. They mm -hmm. they have their, the scriptures embedded in embedded this, in in this book. book. Yes. Uh, I forgot what it's And called. they leave it in the church. And they don't necessarily take it home, they right? They don't necessarily take it home, they, yes. But some do now, with catechism and stuff like that. And you get you, you, you get taught into the different classes and different things, yes. that, which is good. Cause, but then also... Um, they don't I need to say this. I did go to a Catholic school. Oh, okay. Catholic college. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to experience the yeah. uh, Catholic school. So you know how to do... Yeah, I know what I am. The yeah. Son and the Holy I, I understand. Holy I want, and that's the purpose. When I went to college, I always wanted to go to a Catholic school and go. So when I went to college, I wanted to get that But experience. when you go to college, like I went to a college, a Catholic college here in, in America as well, you, you, there's no... They don't really instill the, the, the religion because they understand there's other people from yeah, the yeah, yeah, religion. Yeah. But so you, you go to the Mass if you want to. Yes, I didn't go to the Mass. But I'm talking about, I did have some courses in religion, oh, uh, the, you know, so right. that's where I learned, I learned a lot of different things about Catholics yeah. inside the class. One thing I really loved about Catholics is that they keep time. <laughs> yeah. 100 over 100. I'm Catholic when it comes to that. 100 over 100. And Catholics are becoming very exciting now. My father, my yes. stepfather is Catholic, he's always been born and bred. So I've got a very big part of my, my step family uh side they they all catholics well majority of them are catholics and you know i don't look down on catholics because when i'm home i'm hanging around catholics and i've been through catholic myself but there are certain things that i don't agree with with them kissing the statues with you know with them um you know making mary the sacred woman when i believe that mary was just a messenger who happened to carry the Lord Jesus mm -hmm. um, she was like an envelope when you put in a letter the envelope is not important but what you put in is important yes. the contents of that, that package um, but that's just my beliefs 
like I said, we were not here to break any, but it's just bringing out our beliefs as well. Yes. And, you know, yeah, and Catholic is very religious, and I'm not a very religious kind of person. I, I really struggle when it comes to um, wearing uniform, doing things a certain way. I really want to be free when it comes to God. If I want to kneel down at some point in time, let me kneel and not kneel at certain times when mm -hmm. it's supposed to be, you know, when you expect it to. If I want to cry out, let me, allow me to cry. If I want to lie prostrate, allow me to, and nobody looks at me weirdly. If I want to, you know, whatever, raise my hand, shout hallelujah, allow me to. Nobody likes, what, what is he doing? You know, yes. so that's what I love about where I'm at or the kind of church that I go to. Mm -hmm. Right. So Catholic, we won't talk much about it, but just that we know that they the biggest church in the world yes. and they that, they that, follow right religious now. things. In South Africa they wear uniforms. Okay. There's a uniform that's where not by everyone. They have like certain groups like the mother's section, the mm -hmm. the you know, the um, there's different they, they have different now I won't say branches but different um categories if I can call it that way. The mothers would wear like purple heart or whatever. The 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 the, the, the virgins wear all white. You know, it, it, it's it's just different in that way. Okay. And then we're gonna just talk about the church that we are in, like the the evangelical <laughs> of what happens there as we close off, because we wanna close off with that, because a lot happens in the evangelical church. Well, different churches, different strokes, right? Yes. But one thing we know that they can go to church the whole day. day. This is both South Africa Unless you're and America. Church. Unless you're mega Only churches. Only for mega churches, because they, they've got big people, they've got a lot of people. And they got multiple and services. And they've got multiple services, so they keep time they in keep that time, way. They keep time, yeah. But I assure you, Probably when they started, they used to go the whole church and the whole day. Yeah, before. when they first started, yes. You, you come into church at 11, you can leave church at 5. But, and there's no problem with that. Yeah. We just had an experience because we just came from a convocation. <laughs> and the Friday services started at 7. 7. And it was not 11.30. The whole night. The whole night. Yeah, the whole day. Black people, we love our God. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> I see nothing wrong with that. Listen, I'm from Africa. Africans, they yeah, can pray, the, they whole can pray night. the whole night. I mean, they can pray <laughs> the whole night. Cry out to God the whole night. So I'm not looking down upon that. I'm just saying that <laughs> black people, they're after God. Yes. With all they have. They're all they have. Let's go into the praise breaks. Mm -hmm. Americans have something called shouting. Yeah, talk about shouting. Yes. What, what what happens during shouting? You're gonna see a video about that as you talk. Yeah, no, we just dancing and spirits move on you and just dancing, shouting. <laughs> <laughs> what about South Africa? South Africa, we have praise breaks as well, but it's different from the shout. Yeah. The shout I I was experiencing for the first time, and I still struggle to shout like I can. You know, I copy other people. Um, That's supposed to copy. You well, put, people copy. Put, no, I don't copy. Because okay. for me, there's no spirit that comes to me and makes me want to shout. Like people say they do. Yeah. For just, me, it's just seeing somebody do it. I'm no, like, oh, okay, me. they do that, they no, do that. Not me. And I just not, know a, what they a, a lot of people, yes, they do do that. A lot of people just He copy. shouts. And when he's shouting, I really want to leave the church. <laughs> like, I want to leave the church. I want the, 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 the ground to open up and bury me because it embarrasses me. So much. But, but that's what this his what, shout but, is like. But no other shout. Yeah, but guess what? That's what the spirit gave me when I when I when I dance. So when 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 I got saved, that's what that one of the things that the spirit gave. So I only only shout when the spirit move on me to shout. I don't I don't I don't dance if I don't I don't shout or dance when the spirit don't move on me. So dance. okay, guys, for those who don't understand what shout is. You're gonna see the videos right as yeah. you're talking. It's not shouting with your mouth. Yeah, it's, shouting it's with dancing your feet. with your legs, with your yeah. feet. And, and they do that nice. Yeah, they stuff. do. But a lot of a lot of people practice. A lot of people practice. It's like and tongues. They, and, yeah. Some people a lot practice, of people tongues. practice tongues. I remember the first church that I went to because when I moved from Catholic, I then became I came an evangelical Protestant, and I've always been. But I've been to different types of congregations that do different things. Mm -hmm. I've been to a teaching 
uh, ministry, I've been to a preaching ministry, I've been to a giving ministry, I've been to all sorts of ministries, but it's part of the, all the, part of the evangelical yeah. Protestant. So um, what were we talking about? The shouting. Yeah, the shout. So what, for, for the shouting, we do, we also, we don't do the leg thing. We do, we dance a lot, like not dances in club dancing, but we do movements in the church mm -hmm. because, you know, we Africans, we black people, we go with the beats. Yes. So okay. our music always has some beat, yes. you know, and unless, unless that, it's like, worship you has, music you where beat. you're coming you yourself come, yeah, down and yourself you're ready down. to receive the word of yes. God, etc. But I find a lot of similarities between the American and the African church. Um, although there are also some differences because we know you won't see um, Africans shout we don't we don't understand the shout we don't know what it is just like how you won't see you we won't see you guys do what we do you know congregate in circles and clap hands and do the Zulu dances some of us in the church just in celebration we always but the one main thing is that black people love to celebrate Jesus and loudly loudly and we don't mind getting ugly we don't mind getting ugly. We don't mind crying. We don't mind, we don't mind getting Using ugly. Our wigs we make our faces. Hands. We make faces when yes. we shout. And we make and when we dance. We make faces. That yeah. Yeah, I mean, we make so ugly faces. Yeah, sometimes. that people they yeah. really take <laughs> church seriously, which is a yes, good thing. Which is a good thing. And you know, we have some white people who are actually adapting to this because they yes. feel like they want to be in a church where when, God yeah. is like celebrating, yeah, celebrating, not where God is like. Calm, you know, yeah, then there's nothing wrong with both, whatever that you, what you're comfortable with, go for that as long as you believe, yes, in what because you got a lot of you got a lot of black people that like the calm, the karma. So. yeah, they cannot do the, the noise, oh, <laughs> they cannot, just like how I'm struggling to be in a preaching church because I feel like there's no substance. And Pastor was talking about that, LJ was talking about that in the last couple of series. You can watch our church, uh, the page for that, church. the Inspire Church. Um, where he's talking substance over excitement. Like, excitement or preaching. Most people are after preaching and they don't want to dance. You ask him, how was church? Oh, church was good. Pastor was on fire. <laughs> what, what did pastor, pastor say? I don't know. He was on fire. He was on fire. <laughs> because they're all about dancing. Or they get one fun. word and that's it. Yeah. Or maybe one word, two words, but that was it. But that's, no substance. Yeah. So, and the sad part in that is that you know, we live in a very bad world out there. And if you don't have the word embedded in you, you. it's easy for other doctrines and winds to grab hold of you. And it, uh, and it's also easy for you to um, to fall prey to the enemy's devices, mm -hmm. to whatever it is. If you're struggling with whatever, mm -hmm. uh, um, addiction, smoking, whatever, mm -hmm. you know, drinking or fornicated, whatever it is, it is Because easier. you don't have the word yeah, in you. Know, so we're not meaning to preach, but we just... Or to even to that. make bad decisions. Yeah. Whatever bad decision that what that you that you can make, yeah. it's easier for you to make those bad decisions when you don't have substance. Right, right. So also... Like these, getting back in debt. Yeah, <laughs> when so, you should be staying out of debt. So that. also in these evangel evangelical churches, there's a lot of prophecies that happens as well. Yes. And people are... They're, they're laying, on, laying, laying hands. on hands and people falling under the some some of them in inverted commas <laughs> the power of the Holy Spirit. I'm not saying the power is not there; it's there, but some of it is questionable. <laughs> some of it is questionable. Mm -hmm. And in Africa, now sometimes have, they know where they go to. They know who to go to. Who not to, That's why you, I say it's questionable because they know. Yeah. Oh, I'm not gonna because go, I I know they're not gonna fall they're just to fall. They're not gonna fall because I want to. No, they're gonna stay in there because they. <laughs> Yeah. And you know, one of our sessions as we do this church series is we're going to talk about the things that are happening in churches right now. Yes. They are happening in Africa a lot. And we'll do some research and see if they're happening in the American church. We don't really know much about it because it's not more highly spoken, but I'm sure it's happened. It started already because these things start in certain areas and they spread like fire. You know, because we are in the end times. Yes. So we, our aim now is just to teach and bring awareness as well as part of this series of the church that we're going to be talking about. How demonic spirits are entering the church and people thinking that they, that is just God's power. But in, in actual fact, it's demons that are playing with people. Mm -hmm. And people are falling under the demonic spirits, spirits. power. Because pastors are going out to get witchcraft, to draw numbers to draw fame, to draw fortune, to well, draw everything. offering in the church. We will talk more about that. Very scary stuff that's happening out there.
but we will talk about it. But also, lastly, what happens in the evangelical church is elaborate singing. Woo! They give me a sing for, worship for two hours. We can <laughs> sing. We can sing. We have a lot of fun. Um, and I guess that's why we are able to be in church for five, six hours and not kind of feel it because we worship. We will worship for two hours. After worship for two hours, we'll have the minister speak for two hours. So that's four hours already. And then we'll <laughs> be giving for two hours. Well, now maybe an hour. Maybe an hour. <laughs> for giving. Some churches too. Some churches too. They prophesy some, some churches, for two hours. Some churches take giving like. They prophesy and, 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 and for two hours. <laughs> some prophesying for Pro two hours. For two hours. And then um, in the end, what happens? And then, okay. The, then be dismissed and go. Yeah. So this happens. See the similarities both in America and South Africa, or in Africa, or in the world. Uh -huh. But then stay tuned because we got a lot more in store for you about the church because we want to break it down. And whatever that you want us to talk about as well, please don't forget to put down in the comment section. We'd love to touch on it. Uh, anybody that gave, given us suggestions, we have not forgotten. We've got them down. We will talk about them as and when. So just um, uh, uh, stay on with us. Yes. But also, we'd really love for you to subscribe to our channel. Come on now. Subscribe. <laughs> subscribe. All right. And also press that notification bell so whenever we put up a, a, a video, a video. You get, you're get able to, to, to get the, a notification. And you can uh, follow us. We'd love to be your friends on social media. You can follow me at Lady Season 1 on Instagram. And you can follow LJ. And get inspired by LJ, Instagram, YouTube, and Fanbase. Yes. And <laughs> also you can listen to us on audio platforms on? Um, Google Podcasts, Spotify, Amazon Music, and Apple Podcasts. And you can follow us on Chill with the Chaplains Podcast. Yes. yes. And we're just happy that you have stayed tuned till the end. We will be giving away something nice when we reach a thousand subscribers. So please help us to get there as quickly as possible. We love you and hasta la vista, babies. See you next week. Take care.